गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट गंगा एक्शन प्लान एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो बेसिकली गंगा एक्शन प्लान वाज द लॉन्गेस्ट एंड एम्बिशियस गवर्नमेंट इंटरवेंशंस फॉर कंट्रोलिंग वाटर पॉल्यूशन इन इंडिया it was initiated in 1985 and it was launched by rajiv gandhi in april 1986 now under this plan the national river ganga basin authority was established and declared ganga as a national river of india they received technical support from the Japan International Cooperation Agency or JICA So we see the needs for this Ganga action plan or gap The urbanization and industrialization that took place in the late 1970s resulted in a rise in the amount of untreated sewage that was dumped into waterways As a result of the increasing pollution there was less clean drinking water available which increased the danger of illness such as typhoid cholera and others transmitted by water The largest river Ganga had a similar rise in pollution due to practices like the release of untreated industrial waste open defecation and other causes because there were no regulators to keep these areas in check none of this could have been prevented that's why the government launched the ganga action plan or gap to clear the river ganga nationwide so there are two main phases of this ganga action plan phase 1 and phase 2 phase 1 was started in 1986 and it covered three states such as uttar pradesh bihar and west bengal the goal of phase 1 was to stop the ganga from being contaminated the cost of this phase 1 was rupees 452 crores This project developed an 865 million liters per day capacity for treating sewage. Next was phase 2. It was launched in 1993. It covered seven states like Uttarakhand, UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Delhi and Haryana. The goal of phase 2 was to clean Ganga since phase 1 did not fully address the level of the river's pollution the national river conservation plan was started under the same program for the second phase it included tributaries of ganga as well as yamuna mahananda gomti damodar the ministry of environment and forests MOF was made in charge of the overall design and implementation of gap now central ganga authority or cga came into existence under the environment protection act epa 1986 headed by the prime minister of india in 2014 the government started namami gange mission to ensure clean ganga Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley announced the implementation of Namami Gange on 10th July 2014. The objectives of Ganga Action Plan were first to improve the water quality of Ganga by preventing the pollution from reaching the river, to focus on sewage interception and treatment facilities. and to conserve biodiversity 
So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.